Asuki here for Nerf TV with a Watchdog news update. Yesterday Ubisoft announced that the games Watch Dogs and The Crew will be delayed well into 2014, with Watch Dogs now scheduled for a spring release and The Crew looking to come out sometime in the second half of the year. While this isn't so shocking for The Crew, which was still a number of months away from release, with no set date, Watch Dogs was just over a month from its launch, and it was a launch title for both next-gen systems, with many companies offering bundle packs including the console and the game. The PC, 360, PS3 and Wii U versions have also been delayed. While the Watch Dogs development team have stated that this delay was due to needing extra time to polish and fine tune, the internet rumour mill instantly started moving with people predicting the delay was down to GTA 5 success or that Ubisoft noticed that they also had the latest Assassin's Creed game launching at the same time. Neither of these are really grounds for a delay. GTA 5 was always going to be a big success and the buzz around the game will certainly have faded with the launch of the next gen consoles next month. There is a possibility that the release of Black Flag might have added to the reasoning behind delaying the game, there are certainly many similarities between the two titles, but it's not a good enough reason on its own and the two titles together did give Ubisoft a really strong lineup for the new consoles. It's certainly strange to delay the game this close to launch, especially when Watch Dogs has been a flagship title for the next-gen consoles and one of the most hotly anticipated games releasing on them. Now Ubisoft's only launch title will be Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I personally think this move has been made for two reasons. Firstly, to up the quality of the current gen version of the game. Rumours have been around for a long time now and leaked videos have shown that the PS3 and 360 versions have much poorer graphics than their next-gen and PC counterparts. While this is to be expected, perhaps they decided to improve this and polish the game up a bit. Secondly, I think they'd like to have a higher installed user base on the next gen consoles so more people are going to be experiencing the game there and then in turn making the current gen version of the game a bit less important. This move does give Ubisoft a very strong 2014 with both Watch Dogs and The Division both coming out. We'll have our first bite for The Division next Monday so keep an eye out for that. I hope the team can use this time well to increase the quality of the game itself and spend more time as they say polishing and fine tuning. What I really don't want to see is some day one or very early DLC pack that they spent this time putting together. I've been Asky, you've been watching Nerf TV, stay tuned for more news and updates for Watch Dogs and many other great titles, thanks for watching.